You're listening to KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. The opinions and views expressed in this program do not reflect those of KUCI, its management, or the UC Board of Regents. To find out more about this talk show or other talk shows broadcasting on KUCI, log on to our website at KUCI.org or check out the latest program guide. This is Ashton Marcus, and I'm on location at Chance Theater for their presentation of Emma the Musical. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm here with... Mandy Foster. I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. I've been out in L.A. for about two years now, and um, just love um, getting the opportunity to perform, and uh, this is my second show at The Chance now, and I've really loved my experience here. Great, and which character did you play? Emma Woodhouse. She is quite complex. Um, She... You know, she says a lot of things that you might think, but you would never say out loud. Um, And I think that's something that people relate to. They see, you know, um, that kind of snarky, sassy part of themselves in her. Um, But she's also, you know, a a little clueless. Uh, She sometimes doesn't realize that her upbringing has influenced what she's saying or what she believes. And that she has a little bit of, you know, she has some room to grow. So... Um, I think it's really cool to see that happen throughout the show. Yeah, and my viewers decide to come out and see this piece. What should they expect to see? Oh, if they come out to see it, I think that they'll be surprised. Uh, we've had a lot of people who are really surprised about um, how much they enjoyed it. Just knowing, you know, going into something thinking like Jane Austen, it's a little bit uh, older material, classic material. Um, you expect it to be kind of slow and, um, you know, it's something that you would appreciate but not necessarily your first pick. And I think a lot of people have been really surprised at how much energy and heart and passion is behind this show. Um, and just, I've had a lot of people say, you know, there wasn't a dull moment and I, I really followed the entire thing and loved it. Well, I loved it also. I thought it was very well, elegant. You. I thought it was very charming. I thought it was very, it was very eye appealing. It was very romantic, very classical and very enduring. Thank you, thank you. It's really sweet. Also loved your character. I definitely think it was it is more of a woman's play. You know, Jane Austen. Definitely, definitely. But also, I love the music. I thought the music was fantastic. Isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's so beautiful. And you're singing awesome. So I, I just love the performance. I loved you in it. Thank you very much for being on the show. Of course. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. And I'm here with... Jeff Lowe. Uh, I've been doing uh, theater in Orange County in L.A. for about, oh God, too long now. And uh, it's my second show here at The Chance. And uh, I also run my own theater company called Alchemy Theater Company. Okay, and which character did you play tonight? I played Mr. Knightley. Mr. Knightley is a delightful... uh, cynic and uh, he's very witty he's very sharp but he's also very sentimental when he needs to be and he enjoys his brandy so if my viewers decide to come by and see this piece what should they expect to see they should expect to see uh, one of the original romantic comedies so there's a lot of romance in it and there's a lot of comedy in it and i think to be pleasantly surprised that it's not a stuffy show and it's not too reserved it's a really fun show actually the music's really beautiful but really the comedy and the the cast brings it together in a really wonderful Way. I've commented that, well, it's probably a woman's show because obviously Jane Austen, but actually I enjoyed it a lot. I think men would actually like it. What are your thoughts on that? Absolutely, and I had the same uh, preconceived notions also that it might be, you know, it's romantic comedies are usually built for, uh, you know, the target audience is women, but there's a lot going on in this show that's just good comedy for everybody. And, you know, none of it's dirty or anything like that, but it is very, uh, very pointed and the, you know, people say some mean things and it's very funny um, and it just all the way around the comedy is spot on and it appeals to everybody I agreed I thought it was witty it was charming yeah. I love the music too I mean it, 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 it reminded me of Sondheim you know what I mean yeah, it's a fairly newer piece. Paul Gordon uh, wrote it, and we didn't even... There's no Broadway cast recording of it, or off-Broadway cast recording. Um, so we were all coming in, luckily in some ways, with no uh, 
nothing to compare it to, so it was nice to kind of create the character a little bit on your own. But the music is beautiful. Uh, Paul Gordon does a really great job. I luck out a lot of the times because I get to get on stage, say some snarky things, and then I get one of the most beautiful songs in the show, which is Emma. So uh, everybody should really come out and at least uh, hear the music, uh, expand your uh, horizons a little bit. Definitely loved it. But also, one thing you didn't mention was the dancing and the movement. You guys moved very elegantly, like you were in the uh, 1800s. And also, I loved your dancing, too. It was very wonderful. Uh, yeah, Cameron did all of our uh, all of our choreography, and uh, and it was really really lovely. A lot of the stuff that she did in the esteemed Frank Churchill, where we uh, where the three gentlemen are on stage, it was very inventive. And then just doing all the research, and Lori Stoudy, who is our dramaturg, did a lot of research into how people moved and how they danced, and what you could and could not do. And that dancing for this time period is the only time people could touch. It was the only time you could have like a quiet conversation with somebody because you were allowed to touch during dancing you weren't allowed to touch any other time so it makes the dancing in the show like you said it's more engaging because it's the most intimate portion of the show once again I really love the piece I love your performance in it also yeah very you know very agreeable, very snarky, very very anti-hero, but yes. still being G-rated at the same yes. time. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Knightley is a lot of fun, and I'm I'm very much like him in a lot of ways. And so again, I get to I I, I am uh, I'm Emma's Jiminy Cricket if Jiminy Cricket had a drinking problem. Uh, so I, and I I enjoy keeping her uh, keeping her honest the entire time, and really that's what endears Knightley uh, to her most of the time is that he he uh, he keeps her grounded. Once again, love the performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Emma the Musical will be playing at Chance Theater from November 23rd to December 23rd. For more information, go to www.chancetheater.com. This is Ashton Marcus, and I'm on location at VS Theater for the world premiere of Sisters 3. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Kara Hume. Oh, thanks for having me. Um, I'm excited to be working on Jamie Brandley's latest play, Sisters 3, after working on her play Through the Eye of the Needle earlier this year at The Road. Yeah. And uh, which character do you play tonight? I play Anne, who is the youngest sister. Anne is an eternal optimist in the face of tragedy. This piece, first of all, I love the piece. I thought it was fascinating. I thought it was very intellectual. I thought it was very philosophical, too. But again, if my viewers decide to come by and see this piece, what should they expect to see? They should expect a wild ride of three women, a story of sisterhood, um, grief and perseverance, and a little Christmas magic. Again, I thought it was very philosophical. You talked about trying to find perfection in their own ways, through their own mediums. Yours in particular was trying to find it through social media. It's kind of a community type thing, kind of a zeitgeist type of thing. You know, what would be get me? What would get everyone to kind of love me? What you know what I mean? It's it, she. She had this advanced thinking. She kind of she kind of melded with it. She was also trying to find her own kind of love, also. Yeah, Anne really looks to social media, I think, as a as a tool for good and for recruiting. Well, at the at the onset of the play, we see her kind of obsessed with it, with its negative impacts and kind of jealousies and frenemies um, and competition. And as the play progresses, we see her um, leverage social media for more of a, a positive influence, but maybe covering up um, some some less than perfect deeds. I also thought basically it talked about dirty, dirty secrets of a family. I mean, disgusting, really dark skeletons in a person's closet. Like, you know, you look at politicians, they must be doing something bad. I don't know why they only think successful people are doing that. This family kind of exposed that too. It was actually very, very, what, what would you say? I wouldn't. Uh, uh, I, I hate to use the word sick. What would you think about that? <laughs> yeah, it is definitely pretty dark. Um, but I, without giving anything away, without giving any spoilers, I would say we definitely do see the skeletons in this family's closet. But still things that I hope the audience will 
find strangely sympathetic, even if it is disgusting on the face of it. Well, I loved your performance also because this type of topic, when you're dealing with trying to find love, when you're trying to deal with trying to find perfection, when you're dealing with almost insanity, you know, you know, yeah. then you need, just need fantastic actors. You guys were wonderful. I just loved your performances. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate you coming. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Sisters 3 will be playing at VS Theater from December 14th to January 20th. For more information, go to www.inkwelltheater.com.